Hi, I'm Mike McRoberts. As some of you will be aware, I've recently returned from covering the conflict in Gaza. Now, at the moment, there's an uneasy ceasefire, but it's meant journalists like myself have been able to get into Gaza and see the devastation and destruction for ourselves. Now, although there have been claims and counterclaims from both sides about who is responsible, the innocent victims are the children of Gaza. 400 dead, more than 1,800 injured, and hundreds of thousands traumatised. And they need your support, which is why I'm supporting UNICEF's Gaza Appeal. Now, if you missed my reports on 3 News, take a look at this. It didn't take long to find the sort of destruction and devastation that has human rights groups calling for an international inquiry. 1,300 Palestinians were killed in the three-week war, while vast areas of this densely populated region have been reduced to rubble. Claims of indiscriminate bombing by the Israelis seems hard to argue with when you see a site like this newly built mosque in Beit Hanun. It was meant to be the pride of the neighborhood before five bombs destroyed it. Why did they bomb this mosque? In Israel. Why? Why? I do not know. You want to, uh, to ask of Israel army? There are many questions the people here would like the Israeli government to answer. Like, why weren't they given notice before Israeli tanks and bulldozers tore their homes apart? We're told several dozen civilians were killed here, unable to flee in time. In what's left of this home, a puppy hopelessly waits for its owners to return. For those who have come back, it's a desperate struggle. We come across this young mother clawing her way through the debris to find clothing for her daughter. Children, uh, call and uh, no, no house. Your children are cold and you have no house uh, and house, you're looking for clothes. No house, no clothes, no eat, no... Nothing. The scale of the devastation here is beyond comprehension. Virtually every building in this neighbourhood has been flattened. What you don't get a sense of with these graphic images is the smell. There's a pervading stench of raw sewage around. The United Nations says more than a third of the population are without clean running water. The risk of further fatalities due to infectious diseases must be extremely high. While some aid is coming into the region, it hasn't stopped food prices from doubling. This Hamas policeman tells me although Gaza has been under siege for two years, the war has left the people much worse off, struggling now for even the basic necessities of life. Mike McRoberts, Gaza, 3 News. Now, if adults are struggling without the necessities of life, imagine what it's like for children. Little or no food, no access to clean water, they need clothing and shelter. One of the reasons I became a UNICEF ambassador is because I've seen firsthand the impact they can make in situations like this. They need your support to support the children of Gaza. Please give generously. Thank you.